In this video, we're going to be talking about what is energy and how does it work. In front of you, there's a series of events that lead to a spring being compressed. When a spring is compressed in from its equilibrium position, it has a type of energy called elastic potential energy. It has energy stored up in it due to its position because it is compressed and pushed in from its resting position. But what is energy and how does it work? So the first thing we have to do is define what energy is. As you can see, energy is the ability to do work. Work in this context is the amount of energy transferred. So to get a gauge of how much energy something possesses, it is largely determined by its ability to affect other things around it in its environment. Energy is typically measured in joules. It can be measured in a lot of different units in physics. The standard unit is joules. So now going back to the question about um, how the spring gets its energy and where does it come from? So what's happening in this chain of events is the sun is fusing together some molecules, creating some light and heat and it passes that energy onto the vegetables. The vegetables grow, they are uh, made up of calories, and then these calories are consumed by the person, and the person has a chemical reaction happen within their body that allows them to exert force, which passes their energy onto this cart. This cart is then set into motion with an energy of motion called kinetic energy, and then passes that energy onto the spring. So if you're kind of getting the big idea here, it seems like everything else is getting its energy from somewhere else. So energy isn't being created or destroyed, it's just being transferred from something else. That's called the law of conservation of energy. So that answers our questions. What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. So it's the ability of something to be able to transfer its energy and to cause change to things in its environment. And how does it work? It typically just changes into different forms within that object itself, or it changes forms by passing it on to another person or thing and allowing that thing to gain its energy. So however much energy one thing loses, the other one gains the same amount. Now to end off our video, we're gonna take a look at a simulation by Colorado FET. In this simulation, we have a system of things, which is the person and the skateboard, the earth and the ramp. And when you lift this person up, you're giving the system a total amount of energy, which then is transformed into different types. We have kinetic energy when they gain speed, potential energy when they gain height, and thermal energy caused by the friction between the board and the ramp. And as you can see, the total amount of energy is the same. It stays constant because energy is conserved. So although it looks like the energy is being lost or maybe changed completely, um, really what's happening is it's just transforming into different types and 
causing the person's motion and position to change. But then overall, the total amount of energy is the same. It's just distributed differently between kinetic potential and thermal energy. So I hope that was helpful in helping you understand how energy works and what it is. Thank you for watching and listening.